Jessica Van Vonderen with ABC News. Praise for Vladimir Putin, criticism for the government's policy on childhood vaccinations. Pauline Hansen today offered a bit of advice to Malcolm Turnbull. But the One Nation leader also lent the Prime Minister a hand, saying backbencher George Christensen should stay in government. From Canberra, Jane Norman reports. Do you want to just... Yeah, well, I, I, won't, I won't do that. Up north and feeling the heat. Good on you. The Prime Minister's in country Queensland, where the coalition is battling a resurgent One Nation party. It's a big country and I'm the Prime Minister and I, I get around it. And trying to keep vocal dissidents inside the tent. George Christensen's been threatening to quit, but he's received some advice from an unlikely source. I advise him, stay where you are, because if he jumps ship... It's going to destabilise the government. Mm. And I don't believe the people want that. The government's facing accusations of weakness over its subdued response to last month's penalty rates decision. Malcolm Turnbull's now toughened up his view. We support the decision, we accept the decision, we recognise it was a careful decision. But not before this one-time fish and chip shop owner made the case for cuts. Because I'm hoping to give small businesses a chance for growth. She's showing herself to be a phony and a fraud. Her opponents have piled on, questioning whether she is the anti-establishment candidate she claims to be. You vote for One Nation, you're effectively voting for Liberal Party policy. One Nation does vote with the coalition more often than not, but when it comes to support for the government's 10-year company tax cut plan, Pauline Hansen's holding back. It's not guaranteed, no. In a wide-ranging interview, the One Nation leader praised the Russian president. Even the people here in Australia were saying, I wish we had a leader like that here. And criticised government policies linking welfare payments to childhood vaccinations. What I don't like about it is the, the blackmailing that's happening with the government. That's a dictatorship. Earning a swift rebuke. If parents choose not to vaccinate their children, they are putting their children's health at risk and every other person's children's health at risk too. One Nation will face its biggest test since last year's federal election when West Australians go to the polls next week. Pauline Hanson believes her party will win upper house seats and if recent polling is anything to go by, it could end up with the balance of power. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.